Okay, so here's our deck. Uh, a lot has changed since the last time we looked at this. Um, the last time you saw it, it was uh, just had the floor frame. And now uh, a few things have happened. So let's jump in here and have a look. Uh, let's look underneath first. So uh, the first thing that's happened is these, um, these uh, braces have gone in. And that's just to prevent any sort of side side to side movement of the deck, lateral movement. Um, those are put in on the back row of posts and also the front row of posts. Uh, next is the um, the railing and the stairs. So those are the two big things that are new here. So let's have a look at um, at those. I just I colored this section here um, just to show you. This is this is a pretty typical railing that you see these days. Uh, these, it, it's, it's made up of first the posts. So these vertical, these vertical upright pieces, those are called posts, <coughs> excuse me. And the, um, the horizontal pieces here, the bottom two by four there and the top two by four there. So those two pieces, those are called, uh, uh, rails and then the handrail at the top, which is, which is often a two by six up at the top. Those, so those pieces there, two by six. And you notice they get mitered at the corner, so it's a 45 degree uh, joint between the two. Doesn't always have to be, but but it often is. Um, so, and these these black pieces, these are balusters, and uh, balusters are th these are often sold as kits at, at the home center now. So th these are uh, black pieces of uh, of aluminum uh, that come powder coated, uh, paint painted already. So. There we are. We've got the, the braces underneath. We've got the posts, the rails, the balusters installed. And, um, and let's just jump in here and have a closer look at, uh, uh, exactly how this is done. So you notice, uh, first of all, the posts have to be braced. Okay. So these posts here, they don't just sit on the deck. Um, there are deck kits where they, 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 they sell, um, uh, like a metal bracket that can sit on top of the deck and you slip the post in. But very often it's done like this where um, if I go underneath here, uh, these posts, you see it, it extends right through to the bottom of the joist and it gets blocked in and what you don't see, which is not drawn, but these get bolted in place um, to secure them. Okay, so that way it's not going to go anywhere. And... Um, and then against the house, uh, against the house, instead of a full post, you can do kind of a half post. In other words, take a two by four like this, and, uh, and that just gets, uh, uh, screwed into the brick using masonry anchors. And, uh, that way you don't have to put a full post down. So, um, now a couple of safety features here, because this is, uh, this is very tightly controlled by the Ontario Building Code, uh, which I've mentioned before. So the size of the joists and all that and and, um, and that kind of thing, beams and so on. Now, I want you to notice two things. Okay, and these are Ontario Building Code rules. The first is the spacing, like the space in between these balusters here. So the space in between the balusters is uh, that's governed by the Ontario Building Code. The, the Building Code says, here's what it says. It says a four inch sphere. So something that's four inches, like a, like a round ball that has a, that, that's four inches in diameter, it can't, it, it's not allowed to pass through here. So you cannot, uh, you cannot pass it through. And that includes, like you can't pass it through there, but you also can't pass it through down here between the deck and the bottom rail. There, there must be no place on this, on this whole railing system here where you can pass a four inch sphere, so a four inch ball, through the railing. Okay, now why, why is that? That's because, um, that's because of the, di the diameter of a baby's head. Okay, they don't want any chance of a baby, uh, or a toddler sticking their head through here and getting their head caught or, uh, you know, hurting themselves that way. So that's the first rule of the Ontario Building Code. A four-inch sphere cannot pass through the railing system. The second rule, um, the second rule also has to do with children. So if you notice on decks, okay, uh, if you notice on decks, the, the these pieces, the balusters, uh, you know, they uh, they always go up and down. They're always vertical. They're not horizontal. Okay. Now, 
you could probably go find a deck where somebody has put them horizontal but um but if it, if it's a deck that was done with a permit and if it's a deck that was approved by the municipality then basically you're going to see vertical balusters on that deck now why vertical and why not horizontal you have to think of this like you're like you're two years old and if you're two years old you want to climb everything in sight so uh, if, if these balusters were horizontal, if you had horizontal bars going here, then you're going to have a lot of kids just climbing that and jumping over and hurting themselves. Okay, so that's another rule from the Ontario Building Code is that the railing system cannot be climbable. Um, now, I mean, you and I both know two-year-olds who could probably climb this if they really, really set their mind to it, but uh, a lot can't. And um, so that's the second rule. So the first rule, a four-inch sphere cannot pass through the railing system. Second rule is that it must be designed in a way that uh, it cannot be climbable. Okay. Um, anyway, so those, those are those two things. And, um, and then moving on from there, so that, that's the railing system with the handrail. And let's go have a look at the stairs now. So the stairs, uh, the stairs okay are basically made up of two things so uh, you've got this piece here so that piece right there okay so that's called a stair stringer and uh, it's typically made from a 2x10 or a 2x12 in this case um, to make it stronger so made from a 2x12 piece of lumber and it's cut out in that fashion now again the Ontario Building Code has things to say about this and what they say is that each one of the risers on this stair okay now what's a riser each riser on this stair so you're, you're going to walk up the stairs from the ground up to the first step and then you're going to go up this riser here to the next step and then up this riser and so on and so on so each one of these things each of these is whoop, this and this and this and so on those are all called risers okay and the building code says that those have to be uh, the same height. And that's for safety. If, because if, if you've ever walked down a set of stairs where like the bottom riser was way different than the others, then you notice it. And if you're 80 years old and you're trying to do that, then you could trip and you could fall and you could really hurt yourself. So that's one of the things about, that the Ontario building code says. Um, uh, and then you notice how this is built so that, so three stringers were cut and and put in place now it's not drawn here but these typically sit on either patio stones or sometimes these posts are sunk right into the ground just like all the other posts um but it, it doesn't just sit sit on the grass okay now i think that pretty well finishes off our deck okay um like i said i've drawn i've colored this section just to show that uh, this is made the same material as everything else. And, um, oh, the one thing I didn't mention was uh, the decking material here. So let's just scroll in here. This is a very typical decking material. It's called, they call it five quarter by five quarter by six. Um, when in fact, let me grab my measuring tape here. Okay. Five quarter by six. So the six actually means, actually means five and a half. Okay, just like when you call it two by four, you know, two by four is inch and a half by three and a half. So uh, a five, this is called a five quarter by six decking. So it is uh, five and a half inches wide. And when they say five quarter, technically that means an inch and a quarter. When in fact, these things are one inch thick. Okay, so a five quarter uh, by six piece of deck board is five and a half inches wide. And it is one inch thick. Okay. Um, there are different, I, I used a very simple way of finishing off this deck where with the decking, let me scroll under here with the decking, it just sticks out. So let's go underneath here. Okay. It just sticks out three quarters of an inch like that. You see that? Okay. That's a very, very simple way of doing it. There are other ways where you can, you can, you can cut it, uh, flush with the joist and then add another piece on the outside here as a, as like a, a decoration to hide the ends of all these all these deck all these uh, deck boards okay but um, I just wanted to keep it simple so there it is anyway uh, I hope the homeowner is going to be happy 
They owe us a lot of money for this deck. And um, that finishes it off. 